You. You miss me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah, he's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. should get in on it. Yeah? And what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Sticky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even told me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. <laughs> Don't remind me. A pox on all who think bathing in winter is healthy. <laughs> a pox on all who bathe in general, by my lights. No. Must be a fancy French contraption with all the silver chasing. Plain old rat. Get up! I'm not sure one of them could lead the way out of a blind barrel. Where are we going? Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit. I'd heard the wedding bells might soon be sounded, and now this. Really? No, I think it was the consumption. I think it has to do with the beetle. Indeed. I relinquish the tools of my craft. What are you looking at, half-breed? You not understand English? That it? Don't look up, He's a muckworm. Hmm. Do I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? But why? She seems a thoroughly sensible creature. Not like to partake of such illicit pursuits. At the old flower. I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Let me know if he's well I've always waited for another pair of arms. I think the friend his brother comes to think of it. A little farm by the salt we play. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. I think he will join us. Yes, we did. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Does your god never get tired of all that? getting through to that, Aridan. About as much sense as the fishmonger's dish clout. 
Well, you would be finding a very good, somewhat too strong, though, as will the flavor of the meat ruin. But maple, apple, pickle, mmm. Well, I'm not sure one of them could lead the way out of the Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. I have been hot. He tends to take a sore view of anyone who gets too close. Though. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. You'd have a hard time getting through to that, Arden. About as much sense as the fishmonger's dish clout. I don't think you're grasping the Let me know if he's willing. I've always room for another pair of strong arms. I think to bring his brother come back. Can't pronounce half the bloody names. Is your I'm half never gets was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Nice take. Nice take. George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. Ah, but you see, it's really a half turn clock. You're serious, aren't you? Oh, while we're on the subject, did you meet with success in your hunt for a new assistant? Very well. It's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. it. Took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. He still. We also have a choir. Really, a half turn clockwise. Well, we always knew he had the talent. Honestly, he's the end of the drag. That looks so. off. He's a muckworm. <laughs> Wouldn't have the nerve for something like this. Won't ever see him find something. At this rate, he'll last only. I think he will join us. <laughs> Hunting on Saturday. He must finish his business for the major before, but he thinks Friday he will be done. All right, scoundrels, back in your cells. Oh, no. Control yourself, my Lord. Lord. Old fellow. Mm -hmm. Show some restraint. Why would you... <laughs> Don't remind me. A pox this on key all... is useless. <laughs> A pox on all who bathe in general, by my lights. What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Bin? So rare to receive it. Well, used to be. But I got it. Are you on a boat? Stop this already. Oh, have you taken leave of your what senses? What are you trying sir, to prove? Rain in your turbulent nature. I do wish him my best. What is the matter, sir? Ooh, yes. Ooh. Yes. Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why not just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? You might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. How do I reach the warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like.
Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. Really? His sister? But what? Really? No. I had not heard of it. They're a mite on the party side to ask it of us at this late juncture, though, aren't they? Never knew what hit me. But I still got up. Teach them a lesson. You show them. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of civilization, thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes inside what should be a place of rehabilitation. You bide your time, awaiting the day of release that you might... Need to take care not to raise the alarm. The alarm. Hold that. You come back here. Get back here, you deaf turd. I'll piss on it. Let's get back. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished.
Not who you was expecting, am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of uh, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Hmm. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> years ago the child in the forest was you I said I would find you <gasps> and so you have but not quite as you had expected am I right <sighs> you know all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked ah uh, but what's done is done <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 